I mean, I'm going to be perfectly fair to Jesse Smollett here and say he's still denying that he perpetrated this hoax. Uh, his management is still denying it. He's hired a defense attorney, which is an odd thing to do if uh, if you did not perpetrate a hoax. But whatever. I mean, we will wait till all the facts comes out. All the facts come out. But we are now going to take a position on this show and say it appears that he perpetrated this hoax and the damage that this does in so many areas is inexplicable. And I would call on the mainstream media networks who jumped on this story immediately, accepted it you know, as 100% truth without looking into the background at all, without waiting for any information, I would call on them to talk about the damage that this does to real victims, the damage that it does in the trust of the American people, the damage that it does to an already tense political environment, the divide, the political divide in our nation, and the, uh, the damage that this does to race relations in our country. The, the mainstream media networks, especially the montage we showed during the monologue, they should come out and not only correct themselves, by apol but apologize for being part of perpetrating such a horrible, horrible narrative. Jeff, I have just one more question for you. If this turns out to be what it appears to be, and that would be a hoax, filing a false police report in uh, Chicago carries a penalty up to three years in prison because it can endanger innocent people by falsely accusing them. Should Jesse Smollett be charged for that? Oh, he should definitely be charged for it. I suspect what we'll see is maybe the first instance of someone pleading insanity by reason of uh, Trump derangement syndrome. You know, Donald Trump made me do it. Uh, the same way the media is going to plead derangement. And yeah, I wish they'd apologize. I suspect that they're going to find some excuse to blame Trump for it again. But yes, they should throw the book at this guy. They're, I mean, this is a very serious crime. If, if what appears to be the case now turns out to be the case, if this was an intentional portrayal of a frame up of, of, a, of a story using the Chicago police's resources, trying to shift. I mean, just it, and by the way, this to me is the very definition of a true hate crime. I mean, this is a crime of hate calculated to generate hate in our society. So, yes, they should throw the book at this guy if what would seems to be the case now turns out to actually be the case. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.